Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the Grash. Oh, this is kind of a Mark Wagon sort of stylized Grash show coming up. Using browns, greens, permanent green a little bit. <clears throat> Try to match this a little bit. It's going to be a little bit lighter. Test it out. So it's a little bit lighter. A little too yellow, though. Tone it down a little bit with yellow ochre. <clears throat> a little more watery paint. I'll try that again. Yeah, that's okay. It's just good base on it. So what I'll do is take uh, really wet paint, add water to it, and take a paper towel, kind of like this one, and I'll dip it in the wet paint for one layer of it. I'll come in here, just kind of like tap it, and bring it up a little bit. I'll add more uh, contrast to it so you can see it better. And lube it up more water. And I would, uh, James, I would watch this. It's different in style of grass. So once again, it's like different styles, different techniques. <clears throat> this one I'm kind of taking it, setting it down, and like flicking it up lightly. If I do it too much though, it'll look like paper towel technique, which I'll get rid of in a second. Lots of water. Dry to out to make it dry. Just take it, rip off the old paint. So you dip a dry towel into wet paint, and then tap it, move it around so it has like different uh, values, different places. Tap that a little bit. Start to get kind of an overall texture to it. Okay, yuck. It's kind of minty actually. Okay, take this. More towels, more texture. And I'll add more contrast down here. So far it's kind of just getting, hiding the brush strokes a little bit. If you have a good base, then we're going over it again. I'll add even more white to it, so it's like, you can see how runny it is. Those of you on watching the recording can, but. You have to trust us. It's it's running. Watch us. Barely flick it. Barely touch it. If you push down too hard, it'll be flat. So you just want to barely have it on the on the surface itself. Come in here, another little tap. This is a little more green. Go in different directions. As I come up closer, I can add some more details. But this is sort of just overall look to it. Back here, I'm not going to flick it. Pretty much just tap like that. Notice I'm coming around, just another layer, building it up slowly. I'll tap this again. So now I'm going over another layer. So, see these fat lines here? That's because these are folding over, they're bending. I'll come back in, re rip them, and then dip them back into my grass loop. Come back in here and just barely, barely, barely tap. And once again, this looks like a technique, so uh, you gotta hide it. So right now, it looks like a, how I'm doing it. You know, there's no mystery to it. You've gotta hide your techniques. So here, I'll tap these, come up here, step around a little bit. <clears throat> then you can take a sponge or your hand and spank it. Come in here, roll hand, tap it out just a little bit. That'll like fade it out a little bit more, or you can use a sponge and blur it out that way. Now it doesn't look like that technique anymore. You know, so now I'll take a, uh, another layer of technique on top of that technique. Take a little toothbrush, dip it in the, the white stuff, a little tent. Oops. And down here, it's going to be bigger dots and then smaller dots up here. To get a bigger dot, I need more water. So these are the bigger ones. Back here, less water. Oh, my poor computer. So the smaller ones back here. Get rid of that. And you can't leave it like that because it looks like splatter technique, right? So I my hand again, and I tap that out. Spank it just a little bit. Let's get rid of the obvious technique. It's like 
layer on layer on layer. So you're going from the, the bottom all the way up. All right, so now I'm gonna add some other colors to it. That was green, now uh, for contrast, add a little uh, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Nice little brown action. And rinse off my brush. Same process, but a little more on the brown side. <clears throat> Get rid of the big blobs. And when they splatter out like that, that's fine, looks cool. And I got that layer. Now for contrast, I'm gonna mix up a dark brown too. So you can see that. Uh, I'll mix it up with this. So I got my dark burn umber, a little bit of black even. Sure, burn sienna, I'll throw that in there. A little wild and crazy. Toothbrush again. Now I got the brown in there. And spank. Like that could be done for the base coat. And what we'll do is we'll take a, a small round brush. I'll use this, this brush right here and I'll do uh, some individual ones. There's a lot of different techniques you can use, but this is the Mark Ryden technique. Yellow and black. I'll come in here with like some little blades, little chunks of grass. I don't know your scale on um, how big that's supposed to be, so you might have to change these. But for contrast, it can't be the same value. Um, so it could be lighter or darker, and with that value, I would go uh, darker. Black, green, I'll do like little tufts of weaves. I'll show you, I'll do like a couple of them that are a little bit bigger. I can come in here and just do like down. I'll go a little more yellow. So these little leaves, I'm gonna go step here, press down, spin the brush, to get it to come up a little bit. You know, like a little little leafy kind of thing. And over here, to do the larger one. Simple, a little, a little tuft of weeds right here. Blackish. That's a show. Weed, I'll do a little leaf here. A little more yellow, lighten it up a little bit. Little weeds, little grass chunk over here, tap it out a little bit. And for contrast, you can put these little guys in there. I tap them out just a little bit, scrub them out, and take your finger and blur it out, soften it. Here, leave it crisp. In the background, you want it to have some leaves or weeds or whatever, and then tap them. And over here, you can even add more. Um, I like to make them a little bit prettier. And then you gotta watch out for patterns too. Like you don't want do, 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 do. You kinda want like patches of them. Like a little chunk of them over here. Maybe nothing, then something over here. Okay? Then, um, I always recommend uh, adding like for contrast, you can add little flowers to it. Yes, some bigger weeds. So back here, I can show like a couple little flower patches. Those are just, those are just dots so far. Finger. Or them out a little bit. And as I get closer, <clears throat> maybe I'll add a little magenta. <sighs> Although, you have some magenta kind of looking things over here. Up close flowers, I can put a flower right on top of that one. Each petal's one stroke on your small brush. One there, I can put little baby guys down here. Skip over. Have another blossomy one over here. Those are like three brush strokes to make one of those. And then these up close one. And if you want to show scale, depends how big this is, but then you can have like a real flower there. Small ones, kind of blurry. So you soften them a little bit. And that is uh, another way to make grass.